So if you are a Ryzen AMD PC user and a Android app developer, you must be using Android Studio to develop your app. But unfortunately, you can't uh, test your app in Android emulator in x86 mode, uh, which uses VTX and uh, SVM, uh, which only Intel supports in Windows. So as you can see, I am running uh, uh, Ryzen 7. Uh, so if I want to test my app, uh, I need to use a third-party emulator like Nox player to uh, do that but uh, recently android studio uh, latest version launched a, a new version that uh, allows the uh, ryzen processor to use that uh, x86 uh, to install it in your pc go to google and search for android studio uh, canary so from go there and uh, download the latest version so here is it uh, it's uh, 971 megabytes so i downloaded it uh, after download it's a zip file so extract the file to c drive uh, program files android and to uh, this folder first you need to make sure if the um, mbm or uh, virtualization is uh, turned on and from there as you can see a virtualization is turned on if it's not turned on uh, go to uh, bios and uh, cpu configuration and turn on um, virtualization from there and uh, after that follow these steps go to um, this pc and uh, click on uninstall or change the program and uh, then click on program and features so and then click on turn windows feature on or off and uh, from there enable hyper v uh, this is the feature that allows you to use that uh, hardware acceleration in uh, amd processors and uh, turn uh, mark it and uh, then go to bottom and uh, mark the uh, windows hypervision platform and uh, click on ok so after that will get a alert uh, dialog to restart your PC uh, then re restart your PC and after that go to MS config MS config Microsoft configuration and go to service and check if the uh, hyper uh, X is marked or not as you can see so the hyper V is uh, now in, running in my computer and go to task manager even after turning on the hyper V uh, I was still getting errors uh, like uh, harder acceleration could not be installed uh, so go to service from the task manager and to open services and search for haste and as you can see those are the hyper click on one by one and go to properties and select start type automatic and uh, do this for every single of the hyper x feature as you can see and uh, after that restart your pc again and and open um, the android studio canary from here and from bin and there are the studios 64 and open it as you can see uh, android studio canary is uh, turned on click on tools and uh, go to sdk manager and uh, from there make sure the fdk is all everything is updated so click on tools and sdk build and uh, show the package and uh, make sure is uh, the 27 and 20 is installed if you mark it and click on ok it will automatically update it so you can update it if you if it's not updated yet and uh, after that click ok and uh, then go to tools again go to the avd manager and uh, then create a new virtual device and uh, from there select any of them uh, and click next and after that select 27 minimum 27 api level and then click next and uh, that's how you do it and uh, i already downloaded it so it's not uh, uh, asking me to download it again so uh, it will download uh, around uh, 800 megabytes after downloading your um, virtual devices will be here so now i can run the app and as you can see now i select this 
six pi just created any of them and uh, click ok and uh, as you can see this uh, emulator is running on my Ryzen PC so as you can see it's not slow like uh, ARM uh, it's much more faster uh, it's not fast like uh, the Intel's one but uh, it's still much more faster than the uh, ARM chipset uh, ARM hardware acceleration on that Ryzen processor used earlier I hope this video helped you please give a like to this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you